Yo, what is up, you guys? Realistic Gaming here. Today, we're gonna be doing some Roblox scary stories. Oh my god, it's been a long time since we haven't done a scary story. So, today we are here and we're gonna be reading The Passenger. Yo, that boy is getting lit up there. And by the way, guys, if you guys can name my favorite Roblox killer in the comments below, I will give you guys a shout out in the next video, which will be on Monday because I don't upload on the weekend. Okay, so let's see what this is about. Coming soon, I see you. Oh my god, that looks like a creepy clown, yo. That is not cool. Okay, so let's go see what's up with this game entrance. Let's go in here. Hey, what's up, mister? <laughs> Look at his mustache. That's a cool mustache. Okay, it says, good evening. Right this way, please. A car will be arriving for you soon. Enjoy the show. Thank you, man. All right, let's see the passenger. So creepy. Talk about chills. No way. Totally creeped me out. Okay, so let's go check out the passenger. Wait, where's the passenger though in the sofa? <gasps> oh my God, the sofa is so cramped up. All right, let's see. Uh, Maggie was so excited about going to her senior dance at the high school. She could hardly contain herself. Okay, so as we see here, Maggie is getting pretty because she's about to go to the dance. So let's see how that goes. As soon as she was ready, she grabbed her sweater and ran out front. The girls would pick her up soon. Okay, so she's ready. She's waiting for her friends outside of her house. She was ready to leave to the dance. Before she knew it, the girls were there. She jumped into the car and off they went. All right, so her friends came for her. Hey, oh my God, it's a full car. So they're all going to the dance. Seems like they're about to have the time of their life. Okay, everyone was so excited. They rushed into the school and straight to the gymnasium to see the decorations. Okay, so we're at the school right now, guys. And everybody just arrived. Dude, that's a nice school, man. That's a high school. I think it looks like a college or something. Okay, so there they are. Oh, okay, we're in the high school dance. The decorations were wonderful and everyone was having a great time. Okay, so it seems like it's pretty lit in here. Everybody's having a blast. They even got like a band going on. <laughs> and then we got somebody getting lit doing the hype up there. Okay, so everything seems to be going good according to plan. Okay, it says, but after a while, Maggie found herself alone. No one asked her to dance or paid any attention to her. She was sad. Oh, that is so sad. No, Maggie, I'll dance with you. Dance with me, Maggie. Let's dance with Maggie, you guys, because nobody wants to dance with her. That is sad. Okay, wait, let me dance, bro. Let me dance with Maggie, all right. Oh, my God. Okay, so I danced with Maggie for a bit because nobody wanted to dance with her. That is that is very sad, man. Okay, Maggie decided to leave the dance and walk home alone. Oh, so she left the dance because she was alone. And nobody would dance with her. Poor Maggie, man. Okay, so let's see how this turns out. So she left the school and she's walking home alone. Okay, Maggie, you never felt so alone. The walk was long and scary. Oh my God, Jason's out here doing the, the hype in the forest. Oh my goodness. Okay, as Maggie began to cross the town bridge, a car came racing past, almost hitting her. Oh God, okay, that was a close call. So she would have stepped forward, the car would have hit her and took her life. <gasps> oh my God, close call, Maggie. You gotta be careful. Okay, by the time Maggie crossed the bridge, she was feeling very sick. She sat down for a long rest. Okay, but why would she sit down like in the forest? In the middle of nowhere. That is so creepy, man. After a few minutes, another car pulled up and stopped. A man got out and walked over to Maggie to check on her. Uh-oh, stranger danger, man. Be careful, Maggie. Oh my God, let's see what happens. Hopefully Maggie's okay. She told him she wasn't feeling so well. He said he would drive her home if she wanted. She accepted and got into the car. No, Maggie, why did you get in the car? You did not know this dude. Like, you didn't know who he is. Okay, she told him about the dance and what had happened. He tried to cheer her up as best as he could. He was a very nice man. I don't know, man. You know, people can always be so fishy. Like, you don't know anything about him, Maggie. Okay, so Maggie was home and the man wished her well and told her to feel better. Maggie thanked him and he drove off. Oh, okay, so it seems like I was just overreacting and this guy was actually a nice guy. Okay, very nice of him. After the man got home, he realized that Maggie had left her sweater in the car. Uh-oh. Come on, Maggie, you're leaving your personal belongings behind. He thought he would drop it off in the morning on his way to work since it was too late now. Okay, so the next day, I suppose... The next morning, the man went to Maggie's house to drop off the sweater. An old woman answered the door. Okay, so let's see what's up. Don't tell me Maggie's a ghost. He told her he'd given Maggie a ride the night before and that she had left her sweater in the car. Okay, so uh, let's see what happens. 
She looked very sad and stared at the sweater. This is Maggie's sweater, all right? She took it to the high school dance with her. Oh my God, I... Okay. Don't tell me she's missing. But whoever drove her home last night wasn't Maggie. Maggie died when she was hit by a speeding car on the town bridge. But that was over 50 years ago. Oh my God. Okay, so Maggie's been dead for over 50 years. Ooh. And she actually got hit by the car back there. Oh. Oh my God. This dude is terrified. Oh my God. I would be terrified too, man. Oh, Maggie. <laughs> Oh my god, Maggie's ghost! Look at her go! Dude, she's chasing the couch! Oh my god, she's scary! Okay, so I support- Okay, oh my god, another jump scare? Wait, I think that's the end of the game, isn't it? Oh no, wait, I think we're supposed to go this way. Alright, there you go. Alright, don't forget to visit our other attractions, the Golden Arm, Hide and Seek. Oh, I want to do Hide and Seek! Okay, so I've done the golden arm. That one was pretty cool, man. I actually like that one a lot, too. Please remain seated. Okay, so hide and seek. Shocking. Oh, no. Oh, my God. No, never playing that game again. Okay, so we need to check that one out, definitely. Okay, uh... But this, oh, it's taking us... Oh, it brought us back to the lobby. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> That's pretty cool, man. Please exit your car. We hope you enjoyed the show. And remember to never get into a car with a stranger ever. Yeah, never do that, man, because... You don't know where that person like their their past or like what they're up to. Uh oh, did he just wait what? Did the what? Okay, it kept going. Okay, so I think there was supposed to be like a showcase here. I feel like I'm at Disneyland like in that the haunted mansion ride right now. Okay, uh where is this going? Wait, is this stopping? No, it's keep going. <laughs> where is it taking us? Oh my goodness, it's so dark out here. Wait, I see a lot of text over here. Okay, I don't think we're supposed to be back here, you guys. All right, you guys, so we followed the couches all the way and like, and they kept going forever, so I just reset. Well, that was a pretty cool story, man, and hopefully they keep making more stories because these are definitely uh, unique, and there's like no other games that are like this, so that's pretty awesome. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for the amazing support. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to slap the like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn that notification bell on, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Hey guys, Realistic Gaming here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing some Roblox scary stories. And happy Friday to everybody. Let's go. Yeet. And we're here with Godbags, Hoda, Feynan, Jack Studios, Lost Droid, Skyler 300, and that's it. And Twitter. Say hi, buddy. There you go, man. All right, you guys. So let's go into this scary story here called The Golden Arm. Oh, God. That sounds pretty interesting, man. Okay, just step back onto the great track when you are ready. Does it mean here? Okay, so off we go into the scary story. Oh, this is this is new. We've never seen anything like this. Oh my god, look at that face though. The golden arm by Vision Psych 7. Alright, this seems pretty awesome already. There was once a little girl named Elizabeth who was born with only half of her arm. Half of her left arm. Oh my god, so I guess this is Elizabeth. Hey Elizabeth! Oh, I mean, oh yeah, you can only see she only has her right arm. She's missing her left arm, man. Oh god, okay. She was a sweet little girl and everyone loved her. Oh, well, she does look pretty sweet. Oh, poor Elizabeth. All right, so let's go see what happens with the golden arm. Elizabeth grew up to be a very smart and beautiful woman. Oh my god, look at her. All right, so let's go check it out. But none of the men in town asked for, for marriage. Oh, that's so sad. Look at the other girls are getting asked. Like, the other guys are proposing to them. And Elizabeth's here by herself. I guess it's because she only has one arm. But that's pretty messed up, man. Okay, Elizabeth's heart was broken. She thought she would never find love. Oh, she's all sad next to the fireplace. Oh, man, it's okay, Elizabeth. Don't worry. You're beautiful. Okay, until one day she met a wealthy man named Colin. They fell in love immediately. Oh, that's good. Okay, so she found somebody that she fell in love with, but I don't know. It's kind of fishy. They just kind of met it and they fell in love immediately. That's kind of sketchy, man. Colin asked Elizabeth to marry him and she said yes. Oh, oh, look. I guess he's marrying them. He's a pastor. No, he's saying no. Okay, don't do it, Elizabeth. Oh, God. So it seems like Elizabeth's about to get married, man. The wedding tale was like 
The wedding was like a fairy tale. No one had ever seen such a beautiful day. But does look pretty nice up there, man. You go, girl. All right, so let's see what happens next. But instead of giving Elizabeth the ring, he gave her a golden arm. Oh, so she now, oh my God. So this guy gave her an arm since she didn't have her right arm. He gave her like a right golden arm, as you guys see here. He handed, he's handed it over to Elizabeth. Okay, so this is pretty weird. Let's go see what's next. The golden arm fit perfectly. Now Elizabeth had a complete left arm and it was beautiful. Oh God. All right, so off we go. So now she has both of her arms. Elizabeth and Colin were as happy as could be. Also, they're both home, happy eating dinner at the table. Oh my God, look at her arm. I mean, it looks like a legit arm, but it's just golden. So you could say she's like a cyborg, I guess. Okay, what's up, Clack Force? Okay, but then tragedy struck. Elizabeth felt te terribly ill. Oh no, Elizabeth got sick. It might have been the arm or something, man. Oh God, okay, so they took it off right here. Oh no, let's see what's going on with Elizabeth. Okay, Elizabeth changed completely. She became cruel and yelled at Colin all of the time. Oh God, so it seems like she's getting possessed by this arm or something. I mean, it has to be the arm because she wasn't like this before she had it. Oh my God, look at Elizabeth's face. She looks crazy. Okay, uh, all she ever spoke about was her golden arm. Colin knew she loved the arm more than she loved him. Oh my God, how can you love the arm more than you love your own husband? I told you guys, it's that arm, it's evil. Oh God, okay, she made him promise that when she died, he would bury her with her golden arm. Of course he promised. Oh, well, that tweet of him. But I don't know about Elizabeth. She's getting a little cuckoo in the head. It's like she's obsessed with the golden arm. And then Elizabeth died and Colin buried her with her golden arm, just as he had promised. Oh no, rest in peace to Elizabeth, man. So she did bury her with the golden arm as she asked. So shout out to Colin, man. He's a good husband. He's a good person at heart. But Colin's bad luck continued. His factory burned down and his crops died. He was now poor. Oh no. So as you guys knew, Colin was rich when Elizabeth had first met him. But now like his factory burned down and he's poor now. So it seems like maybe he's cursed. It seems like it's a curse or something, man. I see it coming from a mile away. Okay, the bank said that they were taking his land and his house. He had to do something. Oh no, I know what he's gonna do. He's gonna sell the golden arm watch. I see it coming, man. I mean, if he has to do it to get his wealth back, I would too. He decided he would borrow Elizabeth's golden arm. He dug her up and borrowed the arm. Oh God, I even called it, I told you guys. But I feel like that's a bad move, Colin. Oh no, let's go check out what happens. Okay, he sold the golden arm and paid the banks. The goldsmith mounted down the arm and made different things with the gold. Oh God, okay, so here he is at the bank. He's paying off his debt with the bank so they won't take his factory. I mean, that's kind of like the right thing. I would do the same thing, Colin. Don't trip, man. And here's the blacksmith melting the golden arm. What did he make? Like a golden helmet? I don't know, it looked pretty cool though. All right, so let's see. That night, Colin couldn't sleep. He kept hearing Elizabeth's voice in the wind. Oh no, Elizabeth is back to haunt him since he did sell the golden arm. Oh my God, no, Colin. Well, here comes the crazy part. Her voice seemed to be saying, where's my golden arm? The voice kept getting closer and closer. Oh no, so she's really haunting him for the golden arm since she was like kind of obsessed with it. It was pretty weird, man. Okay, the voice was just outside the door now. Colin. Where's my golden arm? She demanded angrily. Oh gosh. So now she's right outside the door. Oh God, dude, she's right here. Boom, the door flew open and there she was, Elizabeth. She was pale and red eyes glowing. Oh my God, she looks pretty scary. I'm not gonna lie. That looks pretty terrifying, man. So it seems like she's back to haunt her husband for selling the golden arm. Where's my golden arm? She demanded. Colin explained that he borrowed her arm. Oh no, poor Colin. <laughs> He must be terrified, man. He promised her that he'd make her a new one. I don't want a new one. I want mine. She screamed. She screeched at him. Oh God. Okay. Hey, you gotta relax because he did give it to you to begin with. So we have no right, man. You have to relax, Elizabeth. What is going on with you? He told her that the goldsmith had melted the arm and made different things with it, so he couldn't get it back. Or it seems like my boy Colin is doomed right here. Like he can't get out of this because Elizabeth wants her original arm back. Elizabeth shrieked loudly with anger as she flew over to Colin. 
grabbed him and dragged him back to her grave. Oh my god, dude, she dragged him back to her grave? She is insane! Oh no, poor Colin! What's going on here? No one ever heard from or saw Colin again. Oh god. Look at poor Colin, man. Wait, so is he like in the underworld or something? Oh no, he was a good guy though. How could Elizabeth do such a thing? Okay, they say Elizabeth is still roaming the earth looking for every drop of her golden arm. Oh god, oh! Look, Elizabeth's haunting the people because he has gold made from her golden arm. He has a golden chain. Oh, so it seems like she's collecting all the gold from her arm that was like distributed around the whole earth. She's insane, man. Okay, and as we all know, gold is in many different things like iPhones, tablets, computers, and iPads. That is true. Oh god. Wait, so where's Elizabeth? She's not here. I guess they're just showing like the stuff that the gold is in. Who knows? Maybe some of Elizabeth's gold is in your computer, phone, or iPad. Oh god, hopefully it's not because she would haunt us. And I did not want to mess with that girl. You never know, but you might find out. Oh god. It seems like those people are gonna find out right now. Oh my god. What is that thing? Oh wow, it's Elizabeth and her golden arm. Oh wow. Is that it? Okay, that's the end of the story. Please exit the ride. I hope you enjoyed the story. More, more to come soon. Vision Psych 7. Oh my god. Wow, this is pretty cool, man. I've never seen a scary story like this. Wow, this is different compared to the other ones. Wait, oh, back to the... Okay, that's pretty cool. We like faded into the lobby. So it seems like Stickman is coming soon. I can't wait to see that story. I know it's gonna be awesome, like Golden Arm was. What about over here? Hey, move out of the way, man. To be announced, coming soon. Oh no, well I mean, this is pretty cool. Shout out to, uh, what was his name? Vision Psych 7, there you go. All right, you guys, well, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for the amazing support. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to slap the like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.